Hey, good morning welders. It is January the 23rd and today we're going to try something just a little bit different. What we're going to do today is look at welding symbols that you might find on a mechanical drawing or a blueprint, what they mean, how to draw them, basically test your knowledge a little bit. So uh, sit back, grab a pencil and some paper if you want, play along, and uh, let's see what you know. All right, we will start at the uh, upper left, move across, and then down each row. Uh, I'm going to tell you what they are. The first one is a V-groove. The second is a double V-groove. The third is a U-groove. And the fourth is a double bevel. Second row. You have a bevel groove, a J groove, a double U groove, a double J groove. Third row is a square groove, a J groove, a double flare V, and a single flare bevel. All right. Take a couple minutes. Draw in the symbols, and we'll come back with the answer. All right, you got your answers. We got our V-groove on the arrow side, the double V-groove on the arrow and other side, U-groove again on the arrow side, the double bevel on arrow and other side, bevel groove on arrow side, J-groove on arrow side, the double U-groove on both sides, double J-groove on both sides, square groove on the arrow side only, J-groove on the arrow side, the double flare V on both sides, and the single flare bevel, bevel on the arrow side only. All right, now we're all warmed up. Let's go on to the next group. Okay, on this exercise, we have uh, two welding symbol arrows that you need to fill in the details. The one on the left is a fillet weld. You're going to weld on both sides. The arrow side will have a half inch face. The other side will have a 5 16 inch face. Flat contour on both sides. You're going to be grinding on both sides per welding specification EE601. The other one on the right is a V groove weld, arrow side only, with a depth of groove preparation of a half inch. The root opening is one eighth of an inch, a groove angle of 60 degrees using an ER4043 electrode. All right, you might want to pause it here for a minute and draw in your answers. When we come back, I'll have the answers for you. Okay, there's our answers. You can see on the left when you have your 5 16 inch leg on top, your half inch leg on the arrow side. Both sides have a flat face. You expect to grind it, and the note is in the end of the arrow telling you to use procedure EE601. On the one on the right, we have the arrow side groove weld with a depth of preparation of a half inch, one eighth inch root opening, groove angle of 60 degrees, and you are to use the ER4043 filler. That is, again, in the notes section at the end of the arrow. All right, this one looks a little bit trickier. On the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one, they want you to tell you the type of weld, the contour, and the finish method. Um, if you're not familiar with the top one, that's going to be a flare V. And uh, that's the only hint I'm going to give you for the rest of these. So pause it here, take a look, get your answers down, and I'll tell you the answers when I come back. All right, if you look at the top one, again, I told you that was a flare V. The straight line is telling you it is a flush finish, and it needs to be hammered. The second one is a fillet weld on the arrow side. It needs to have a flat face, and you are expected to grind it. The bottom one is a single bevel weld with a convex contour, you can tell by the curved line. And the finish is to be machined. How are you guys doing so far? Hope everyone well. 
Okay, here we go with another draw the welding symbol. This will be a slot weld with a 40 degree countersink. The slot will be two inches. The width of the slot will be three quarter. Fill to one half inch with a pitch of four inches weld on the arrow side and you are to reference detail A in the drawing. I know that's not shown here. You just need to mark the reference. All right, ready, set, go. How'd you do? Here's your slot weld with a 40 degree counter slink, sink, a two inch uh, length of slot, three quarter inch depth of slot, fill to a half an inch with a pitch of four inches, weld from the arrow side, and you are to reference detail A on the drawing. All right, this one should be a little bit easier. Let's work on this one together. Since those two pieces of metal are stuck like that and the arrow's pointing there, this will be an edge weld. They want the weld size to be 3 seconds of an inch, and the location of the weld will be on the arrow side. Did you guys get that one? I'll put the key up here so you can see it. Okay, here we're going to go with a little review. Let's start with the one on the left. That is to be a fillet weld. It is to be continuous. You are to weld the other side, and the leg size should be 3 16th of an inch. The one in the middle is a fillet weld. It is going to be a chain weld. Leg size on the arrow is 1 quarter inch. On the other side, it's 1 eighth of an inch. And the length of your weld segments is two. And the last one on here. This should be a staggered weld with a pitch of 10, a leg size on the arrow side of 5 16, and the leg size on the other side of 3 16. All right, guys, thanks for playing along with me on our little welding symbols quiz today. I know it's not what you're used to seeing on this show, but I thought we'd try something a little different. Um, give you an idea of what you might see on mechanical drawings or blueprints or whatever if you're out in the field welding. Or if you're in welding school, you're definitely going to be expected to learn this stuff. So if you want to know more, uh, send me a comment. Uh, you can send an email to tigmaniac at gmail.com. And I'll uh, fill you in on where you can get a lot more of this information. And again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm happy to announce that uh, Adventures in Welding is now part of the Maker.TV YouTube network. So I will catch you next time.